Hello students, in last class we have completed the problems on the determinants. Now in this session we learn about the area of the triangle. Now how do you find the area of the triangle in lower classes? When the vertices x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3 are given, we have seen that area of triangle is equals to half mod x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2. Since the area cannot be negative, we are taking the absolute value or modulus value. That means the area must be always positive. Now the same formula we write in terms of the determinant. So let me see how to find the area of triangle by using determinants. Let the vertices of a triangle or x1 y1, x2 y2 and x3 y3. Then area of triangle, area of triangle is equals to, we can be known by delta is equals to half dash x1 y1 write vertically x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 but determinant means it must be a square matrix compulsory so take 1 1 1 when you expand this you will be getting the same formula only that is when you expand this half into this is x1 by leaving the corresponding row, corresponding column, y21, y31 minus x2 minus x2 into that y11, y31 plus x3 into that y11, y21. That is equals to half x1 into y2 minus y3 minus x2 into y1 minus y3 x2 into y1 minus y3 just I change the sign so this becomes y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 so whatever formula we have learned in the lower classes same thing we are writing in determinate form now we are using determinant form not this lower class form now here whenever we are writing this we are taking the modulus why because the area cannot be negative now let me come so not one that is not one area is always Whenever you are finding the 
value of any of this what you have to do the area value whatever is given that you have to take plus or minus then the third note is three points are collinear three points are collinear the area of the triangle will be zero so that is third note is third note is three points three points or collinear if area of triangle is equals to zero so i hope this is clear what is the formula for finding the area of the triangle then three notes one is area of the triangle is always positive so take the absolute value second one to find the value of any vertex to find the value when the area is given what we have to do the given area you have to take as plus or minus then only we can find that vertex that is two values otherwise we will be having only one value then third one is three points are collinear means area of the triangle is zero now based on this let me do exercise 4.3 exercise 4.3 in the first one find the area of the triangle with vertices at the point given in each of the following so here three cases are given so let me do third case first and second cases you can do it so third one the given vertices or minus 2 minus 3 minus 2 minus 3 comma 3 comma 2 3 comma 2 and minus 1 comma minus 8 so denote this as x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 now we know that area of triangle is equals to delta is equals to how x1 y1 1 x2 y2 1 x3 y3 1 which is equals to how just replace the values or substitute the values that is minus 2 Minus three one three two one minus one minus eight one. Now to solve this, either you wanted to use properties because one 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 is there, you can make use of the properties or simply solve as it is. That means directly you can expand also. So by expanding. by expanding through or one that is equals to half minus 2 by leaving the corresponding row corresponding column this is 2 1 8 1 so i hope you are understanding this this is plus minus plus so minus of minus this will become plus 3 by leaving the corresponding row corresponding columns this is 3 1 1 1 plus 1 into 3 2 1 8 which is equals to half this is minus 2 into 2 plus 8 plus 3 into 3 plus 1 plus 1 into 
minus 24 minus into minus plus 2 which is equal to half minus 2 into 10 minus 2 into 10 plus 3 into 4 plus 1 into minus 22 which is equal to half minus 20 plus 12 minus 22 that is equal to half this is minus 42 plus 12 this is equal to half minus 30 but the area cannot be negative it should be always positive that means you have to consider absolute value so for that what we do just we will put models of this So this is equals to half into 30 that is equals to 50 square units. I hope this is clear. So modulus so where should we apply? So here also you can apply that is no problem at all. From the beginning you can apply the modulus. If, more, if negative E is not coming it is well and good. If negative E is coming you have to take the positive value only. I hope it is clear to everybody. Next, let me proceed to second problem. Show that the points are collinear. So, collinear means what you have to show? You have to show that according to third note, the area of the triangle, you have to show it zero. So, second one is given points or a of a comma b plus c comma b of b comma c plus a comma c of c comma a plus b. Now you have to show that these three points are collinear. So what we have to do according to node 3 show that area of the triangle is equal to 0. That's all only. So area of the triangle we know that area of triangle is equal to half into that x1 by 1 1 x2 y2 1 x3 y3 1 that is equal to half that a b plus c 1 b c plus a 1 c a plus b 1 now solving this determinant or finding the value of the determinant so whichever is possible for you you can go for that method there is no restriction at all so let me expand through by expanding by expanding through c1 that is equals to half now i am expanding through c1 first column this is plus minus plus that is a into by leaving the corresponding row corresponding column c plus a 1 a plus b 1 minus b into that b plus c 1 a plus b 1 plus c into that b plus c 1 c plus a 1 this is equal to half a into c plus a minus a minus b minus b into b plus c minus a minus b plus c into b plus c minus c minus a now here a, a gets cancelled here b b gets cancelled c c gets cancelled which is equals to how a c minus a b minus b c plus a b plus b c 
माइनस ए सी माइनस ए बी प्लस ए बी गेट्स कैंसिल माइनस बी सी प्लस बी सी गेट्स कैंसिल प्लस ए सी माइनस बी सी गेट्स कैंसिल दिस इज ऑफ इंटू जीरो इज इक्व टू जीरो सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू एवरीबडी नेक्स्ट प्रोसीड टू थर्ड वन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ द वेरिएबल फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ के इफ द एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल इज फोर स्क्वायर यूनिट्स सो वेन द एरिया इज गिवन ऑलरेडी टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एनी अनोन क्वांटिटी द सेकेंड नोट इज दैट यू हैव टू टेक प्लस और माइनस यू हैव टू टेक द एरिया वैल्यू एज प्लस और माइनस हाउ इट इज लेट मी से That is, find the value of k if the area of the triangle is four square units, whose vertices are given as. So, in the third one, I will consider second case. First one, you can do in the similar lines. So, given vertices of a triangle are given vertices of a triangle. Or minus two comma zero, zero comma four, and zero comma k. Next, what is given? It is given that area of the triangle is four square units. Also given. Also given. Area of triangle is equals to four square units. That implies half dash x one y one one x two y two one x three y three one is equals to plus or minus four. Do you know how we are writing plus or minus four? So for this, let me go back to eleventh class. Mod x is equal to four. This is because area is always positive. We have to consider the absolute value. So mod x is equal to four. That absolute value is four. Then what will be the value of x? So simply x value will be plus or minus four. So when plus four also it is four. When minus four also it is four. Therefore, x is equal x value is plus or minus four. I, I hope this doubt is clear to everybody. Why we have to take plus or minus? So, area of the triangle is actually it is four. When you remove the modulus, you are getting plus or minus four. I hope it is clear to each and everybody. Which implies half. Now put the values: minus two, zero, one, zero, four, one, zero. K one is equals to plus or minus four. Now solve this, which implies how by expanding through or one. That is minus two into dash four one K one. Minus zero plus one into plus one into dash zero four zero k is equal to plus or minus four, which is implies of minus two into four minus k. This is zero plus one into zero is equal to plus or minus. Which implies how minus eight plus two k. This is zero is equal to plus or minus four. This is minus eight plus two k is equal to plus or minus eight. So I am sending two here. So four into two, it is eight. So which implies two k minus eight is equal to plus eight and. 
2k minus h is equal to minus h, which implies 2k is equal to 8 plus h, 2k is equal to 16, k is equal to h. Or the other one is 2k is equal to minus h plus h, 2k is equal to 0, so k is equal to 0. Therefore, k is equal to either 0 or 8. I hope this is clear to everybody. So, you have to remember that to find the unknown quantity, when the area of the triangle is given, you have to consider plus or minus y. We are taking the area as absolute value. When you remove that modulus, so it will be plus or minus. So, I hope it is clear to everybody. Next, fourth one, find the equation of a line joining two points. Line means points are collinear. Like points are collinear means what? Area of the triangle is zero. But here, you have to find out the equation of a line. That means, take any general point x comma y on this line and show that area of the triangle is zero. That is, see here, fourth one, given two points of one comma two and 3 comma 6 given 2 points or 1 comma 2 and 3 comma 6. Now what is given? Find the equation of a line joining these two points. Line joining these two points 1 comma 2, 3 comma 6. Using the determinants, how do you find the equation of a line? Take any general point, take general point on this line, name it as x comma y, whether x comma y be here, 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 wherever it may be. Take any wave, one general point, x comma y on this point. Now see, three points are on the same line, that means Three points are collinear. Three points are collinear means area of the triangle is zero. So put that condition and get what is the equation of a straight line. Let x comma y be any point on line join of one comma two and 3 comma 6 which implies x comma y 1 comma 2 and 3 comma 6 or collinear means lie on the same line or collinear when they are collinear means area of triangle is equals to 0 that implies half into that x, y, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 6, 1 is equal to 0. So, I am not writing the formula because we are familiar now. So, straight away I am writing first vertex, second vertex, third vertex and 1, 1, 1. Which implies x, when you send to that side, x, y, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 6, 1 is equal to 0. By expanding through R1, we will get x into 2, 1, 6, 1 minus y into 1, 1, 3, 1 plus 1 into 1, 2, 3, 6 is equal to 0, which implies x into 2 minus 6 minus y into 1 minus 3 plus 1 into 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. This is 2 minus 6 
minus 4, 1 minus 3, minus 2, that is minus 2 minus plus 2y plus 0 is equal to 0. Or we can write it as 4x minus 2y is equal to 0. Or 2x minus y is equal to 0. I hope it is clear to everybody. So, when two points are given, how do you find the equation of a line? By using the determinants. Take any general point on the straight line, then all these three points are lying on the same line. That means they are collinear. When they are collinear, area of the triangle is zero. Put that condition and get what is the equation of a straight line. I hope it is clear. Now, come to the last one. If the area of the triangle is 35 square units, area is given already with the vertices, then what is the value of K? So here already we have done the same problem. So quickly let me do it off. What is the value of K? So given what is this R? Given vertices are 2 comma minus 6, 5 comma 4 and k comma 4. Then area of triangle is given as 35 square units which implies of 2 minus 6, 1, 5, 4, 1, k, 4, 1 is equal to, we have this absolute value, when you remove the absolute value, this will become plus or minus 35. So, this is 2 minus 6, 1, 5, 4, 1, k, 4, 1 is equal to plus or minus 2, if you multiply here, this is plus or minus 70. So expand this by expanding by expanding through C1. 2 into 4, 1, 4, 1 minus 5 into minus 6, 1, 4, 1 plus K into minus 6, 1, 4, 1 is equal to plus or minus 70. So, 2 into 4 minus 4 minus 5 into minus 6 minus 4 plus K into minus 6 minus 4 is equal to plus or minus 70. This is 0 minus 5 into minus 6 minus 4 minus 10 plus k into minus 10 is equal to plus or minus 70. This is 50 minus 10k is equal to plus or minus 70, which implies 5 minus k is equal to plus or minus 7. So, consider 5 minus k is equal to plus 7, and 5 minus k is equal to minus 7, which implies 5 minus 7 is equal to k, which implies k is equal to minus 2. And here, 5 plus 7 is equal to k, which implies k is equal to 12. Therefore, k is equal to 12, comma, minus 2, that is option 